Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will give you a quick overview of Quality Center. I'm going to use the demo project for this tutorial. Okay, then let's log in to the demo project. Okay, now log in. Okay, now we are in the demo project. So when you first log into um, any project quality center on your left side you can see uh, five buttons dashboard management requirements testing and defects this contains the modules which available for performing different activities based on your responsibilities and your company's uh, quality center license some of these modules will not be accessible for you as a quality assurance analyst you will spend most of your time with testing and defects these two modules uh, however uh, let me give you a quick overview of all these uh, modules uh, so you will have a better understanding of quality center so first the dashboard dashboard uh, you can get a high level view of current project which is very helpful for any project member but really useful for um, project manager, test manager, or other business executives. Um, so under the dashboard, you can see there are two more modules, uh, yeah, uh, analysis view and dashboard view. Analysis view, uh, you can create graphs and reports uh, in analysis view. Uh, dashboard view, uh, you can create dashboard pages in which uh, you, you can view multiple graphs uh, in a single display. Management uh, is mostly used by the test manager um, to uh, define the releases and cycles and the libraries. Um, so uh, under the management, uh, as you can see, there are two more modules uh, available under management uh, releases. Uh, the releases module um, here you can define uh, releases and uh, and the cycles and the libraries modules you can define libraries to track changes in your project we use uh, entities in a project or share entities across multiple projects in later tutorial we'll uh, learn more about uh, releases and um, and the cycles uh, next uh, is requirements. Um, so under requirements, there are two more modules: uh, requirements module and business models module. So the requirements uh, module is mostly used by the business uh, analysts to define business requirements uh, of the software. Um, so you can manage requirements uh, under the. Um, requirements module requirements can be linked to other requirements test or defects business models uh, module here um, you can import business process models and test the quality of the models and their components testing this testing uh, module uh, where the quality issue analysts uh, they're going to you uh, they're going to use most of their spend most of their time uh, here um, you can see there are four uh, modules uh, available under testing, test resources, test plan, test lab, test runs. Um, test resources, uh, under this module, uh, you can manage test resources. Uh, test resources um, can be associated with uh, tests. Uh, the test plan, uh, where you can develop and manage tests. and uh, Test can be linked to uh, requirements and uh, defects as well. Uh, test uh, lab. Uh, you can manage and run tests from test lab. After running test labs, you can analyze your test results from here. Uh, and the last one is test runs. Uh, this module uh, here you can view the results of executed um, tests. In earlier version of Quality Center, um, this test runs this module was in uh, in the test lab but as you can see in uh, version 12 uh, it is now a separate module in the later um, tutorials you will learn more about test plans uh, and test lab 
And the last uh, uh, module here is defects, which is another um, important uh, module for quality assurance analyst uh, or uh, or other project member. Uh, a, under um, this defects module, um, you can uh, add uh, defects, determine uh, repair priorities for defect, um, repair new defects, or you can uh, analyze the defect data. Again, um, in the, the later tutorials, uh, you will learn more about uh, this defect uh, module. With this, uh, we come to the end of this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial.